Basically， 这些都是我们所谓的包的和收回来的衣服。这些都是衣服。Yeah， and one bed 应该是 twenty thirty kg。I mean there's there's bed sheets, cushions, all kinds of stuff， and that's just from like one day's worth, one day's haul。Post Marie Kondo, decluttering has become a way to spark more joy in our lives. Clothes have basically become one of the top items collected by modern-day garangunis, the recycling companies. Cheap clothes and closet detoxes. Can our local recycling keep up? I'll be joining a recycling company today to follow them to the warehouse and find out what happens to our clothes after they get collected for recycling. Those can't be used, we will burn them and burn them. So all the stuff that you can't buy, you will burn. Every year, the average is about 300 tons. The majority, about 15% of the items will go to waste. The rest, 85% will go to waste. Singapore's living standards are different. The 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 living standards are different. 那时候我们才有办法包成拿去卖。If not， 我们也没办法拿到这么多好的产品。So it's just the start of the day. So everything we've seen so far is actually just the tip of the pile. By November, the company will have to rent a whole new storage just to hold all the waste from the decluttering during New Year's. But a large part of this can still be sold overseas. Getting people to stop buying won't be possible. But what about swapping? Circular fashion has grown to be a savior for closet space by exchanging what you don't wear for more. So I'm here at Fashion Pulpit today with Ray, um, and he's going to show me around the shop. Over here, pre-loved clothes are getting swapped by members for points. The points credited then get exchanged for anything else that strikes your fancy on the shop floor. So obviously, there's a lot of styles from different eras at the same time, different you know sizes, different brands. So it depends on what we get. At the same time, also trying to understand what our community needs. Right. So the first floor are the ones that we change every two weeks. Mm. The old inventory it goes up to yeah. the second floor. Yeah. So we're here now at our storage where we actually curate the next drop-offs. We only have about 2,200 members, mm. and um, in the past three years, we have accumulated about 120,000 pieces wow. of clothes. Do you think Singaporeans are a little bit late to circular fashion? I think there's no early or late comers in terms of adopting a more sustainable lifestyle. Personally, sustainable fashion goes beyond on how you acquire clothes, mm. regardless of you buying a first time mm. in a fast fashion shop mm. or in a second hand mm. it's how you actually maximize the use of what you already have right. and also being responsible in mm. how you use the resources that we have the next time something on the red catches your eye think about its true cost before checking out how many times will this piece survive Marie Kondo's joyful decluttering <laughs> <laughs>